Do you think that um, men and women are... are treated differently, it's different in relation to going grey. And I know you've talked about this. I mean, my my sense would be, let me give you the answer to my own question <laughs> before you, and you can say, no, da-da-da-da. But I, I suspect you'll sort of go along with it. At some, my, my suspicion is, look, actually, um, no, but, but, but we are treated differently. I've got some salt and pepper. You know, I'm thinking of a bad 90s sort of uh, band then when I say that. But... Um, but you know, going grey for a man is silver fox, the association, so on, and and traditionally at least that's been different. And of course, we know that you know, for the most part, or my sense would be, a woman will die on that basis, die their hair, and so. I mean, what's your? Yes, that that was that was our that was our script. We yeah. were we were it, it was an emancipation move to be able to die here. You could you could look younger and relevant, and you weren't written off as old or elderly or or past it. These days, there is a grey hair revolution, a silver sisters revolution, yeah. and I'm not on the bleeding edge of that. I'm probably just past the cutting edge of that in terms of, I know for me, I thought the day I go grey, that means I'm no longer able to be on telly, even though I wasn't on telly anyway. But I I subconsciously knew that when I look at my television screen, there aren't grey haired people on it. That's changing. Mm. It's all changing. Or is it grey haired woman? Grey haired woman. It is grey haired woman. Yeah, Totally. I mean, but, I, I don't know, I'm trying whole, to think it was Sandy Head, but Peter Williams, I mean, he was in his 60s, I think, or certainly late 50s, still reading the the, the, the news. Yeah, um, yeah Simon Dell is grey, Mike McRoberts is grey. So it's self-evidently, awful. there's a different <clears throat> treatment there. But it's through the whole, it doesn't happen, it doesn't start when people go grey. That, that kind of narrative for women that's narrow starts way back when you have to usually have to have a certain physique, have to have a certain colour here, like one of one of two colours. Sam Hayes is the exception with the third colour. Have a certain, no curls. There's no curly-headed newsreaders. And Dara Stewart is a phenomenon. A, she's Pacifica, mm. and B, she's got curly long hair. Mm. You don't see it. So there's not, it's not, oh, it's just this. It is, as women in our society, as Pākehā European women, there is a way of looking and a way of ageing and a way of being that's quite narrow. And I just think we're starting to bust out of that. It's a good thing. It's a good move. But I'm not hit up about it or angry. I'm just like, let's go. Let's hop into the driving seat of our own stories.